Hi, I'm going to present a tool called Tricider. It's free, it's easy to use, and the function is to help you prepare for a lesson where you want to get discussion. It could even be a meeting with colleagues. The problem often is that uh, people come unprepared to meetings. Tricider can help you prepare your students or colleagues for the meeting by getting them to answer questions, identify key issues, and even vote on which issues they think are most important for discussion. Then when you meet them in class, they are prepared, they have identified the main problems, and they have some arguments for and against. And so your discussion can start from a, 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 total, a much more advanced level than you could if you just introduced the problem in the classroom. So how does it work? Well, you go to tricider.com and uh, this is what you see. You can create an account for yourself if you want. I've already logged into mine. It only takes a few minutes, but it's completely free. Uh, the advantage of having an account is that you can save and see your previous uh, discussions in Tricider. If you don't have an account, you can still use it. So it might be good to try it out without an account first and then create an account when you think you like it. So, how does it work? When you go in, you see it, it looks like this. You have, here's your square to put a question. So we'll put a question. How to make class discussions more effective. Press go and my discussion is ready for action. So I have a question I'd like to ask my class and I want them to pre prepare it before we meet. I can re-edit the question if I want. Here I can add a description and I can yeah, give a few more details, give them some hints of what I'm looking for. So you can add that if you want. Then it's live. So how do we get the students to take part? Well, I press share and invite. Here I can automatically invite people via social media, but possibly you might prefer to just copy the unique link to the Tricider question and paste that into an email or into your learning management system and then send that to your students with the instructions of what to do. When you've done that, your students will come to this page, they'll see your description and your question, and they can add their ideas. So you press add idea. Here I can write down my idea is like that. I can add a description if I want, to, if I have a lengthy proposal, I could maybe add a document, a, a more detail there. I could even add an image. I might want a, a picture or a screenshot showing what I mean. When I've done that, I save. Thanks for your idea, says Tricider, and here my idea is there. I can go in and edit my idea or add images anytime I want. I can then add an argument. And I can choose a plus argument or a minus argument. So I can give maybe three plus arguments for my idea and maybe one minus argument. And they are saved with my name. So there we've got an idea, pros and cons, plus and minus, advantages, disadvantages. Here's an advantage. Now, other people, the others, they can look at my idea and I can think, I'm not so sure, I don't like that argument. So I'll go in as someone else and I'll say, uh, not so good. Of course, I would, uh, in a real discussion, in a real discussion, uh, I would give much more detail. I can give a thumbs up and show that I more people like that idea. And so it goes on. So everybody can add their ideas or suggestions. Everybody can add 
advantages and disadvantages of the selection suggestion and in the end you can vote and so at the end of the poll you can see a lot of ideas you've got advantages and disadvantages and if you want they can vote on the ones they think are most popular the ones are that are best so that when you come to the classroom you know which are the key arguments they've already discussed them a little bit you can focus on the issues that are most that have got the most votes and the discussion starts off at a higher level so really it's just making more use better use of classroom time if you want you can subscribe to updates that means that every time somebody makes a change in here you'll get an email alert to tell you that something's happened down here there are lots of other fun things you can do you can see how many people have been visiting the page you can have a contest giving rewards to the participants with the most suggestions little stars or something like that and there's quite a few settings especially if you have an account that can let you customize the uh, the the questions and the layout and uh, some of the functions so you can play around with those as you want but i think this is a very very good way to identify problems and prioritize and i think can make a lot of meetings and classroom time more effective the main point is to extend the meeting we don't just meet in class anymore we can meet before and we can meet after it's a longer discussion a deeper discussion so good luck with tricider and thank you for listening